The Nigerian Bar Association has joined the call for justice in the killing of Alafure Peterside, a father of three by a police officer in Port Harcourt. This weeks after, three weeks rather, after the fatal shooting, the family laments the failure of the police authorities to provide answers or bring the defaulting officer to book. Senior correspondent Uchi Okuro reports. As the clock ticks and the days roll by, Hope for justice fades for the Peter Said family. One of them was gone down by a police officer outside the restaurant in unclear circumstances while his wife and children watched. Justice for them is to hold the man who pulled the trigger responsible for his actions, which they insist were unprovoked. I only pray to God to help heal, heal us all. For me, it's going to be a very hard pill to swallow. Very hard pill to swallow. I know we all must someday leave this world, but not this way. Not this way. There was no confrontation, there was no altercation, nothing. An air of sadness now hovers over what was once a happy family. They are taking it one day at a time as they wait for the police to match words with action in their promise to conduct a thorough investigation. The whole body is now on me. My aged parents are there. My father is sick. My mother is sick. We are all going around trying to take care of them. How many are we? We have nothing. Only God. My mother can't sleep. She's been crying, crying every day. For the Nigerian Bar Association, the response of the police so far leaves a lot to be desired. There should be a public address from the, uh, 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 from the Commission of Police, River State, addressing this matter comprehensively. And also, the efforts the police is making as a force to address the issue and ensure that adequate compensation and justice are you know, done for the family and also meted out to the corporates. While they grieve, the family and other stakeholders are also advocating regular training for police officers on the use of firearms and the deployment of force in the line of duty. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Haggart.